Hello, this is weird lighting to start the video in. I'm gonna not, I'm gonna be honest, it's not the best, but I wanted to say hello before we popped into the store. And welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new. I'm so excited to have you here. My name is Mallory and I'm a registered dietitian that talks all things intuitive eating, food freedom, ED recovery, does daily vlogs, all the stuff. You know, I won't go on and on. But I thought today it would be really helpful to see, especially because I love seeing these videos, I don't know, maybe you two too, a grocery haul. I really am first of all just nosy. <laughs> so I like to see what other people get, but I also feel like it can be helpful on your intuitive eating, food freedom journey to see what other people buy. Um, I think a lot of the time is people think that dietitians eat this certain way and I want to show the different variety that I get in my cart. I do want to mention that I feel like this shop will be a little bit different than normal. We have a lot of the different dry goods per se that we typically do so this will be more veggie and meat and fruit heavy but I still want to get some fun items. It's fall here and so get some seasonal different things um, and I'm really excited so I wanted to bring you along I'm really excited too because I'm gonna I've said I'm really excited 65 times I think you guys get it <laughs> I am listening to this podcast that's so good it's called revelations I'm super interested in cult stuff that sounds really weird but like learning about them I think is super intriguing it is this one by podcast so I'm gonna listen to that it's like 36 minutes which I feel like will be a perfect timing but Okay, I tried to get out of my car and I could not. So, here we go. Here she is, we got the haul. Um, we don't have enough natural lighting, so we had to go for the overhead, which I do not like, but I would not say this is the most representative haul. But I'm gonna show you, because I still think it's helpful to have these in-between hauls, and I can show you how I supplement it. So, we've got eggs here. Brian uses those all the time for breakfast. I mean, we can eat them for every meal. And um, we've got sweet potatoes, green beans, spinach, this kind of veggie salad kit cucumber, bananas, raspberries, let's see, any other, and that's our kind of veggie section. We have um, hash browns back there. But this was the main thing I was stocking up on, or like these veggies and fruits, because we don't have anything. We have one thing of bok choy in the fridge. Um, then I also got some protein. So we love these chicken sausages. They make for such an easy meal. I'm actually gonna make a meal out of that, and this, and the vegan kale pesto right now. Um, and we got salmon as well for this week and then some tofu i love having tofu on hand i feel like it's so easy these two things are things i love to have on hand i love having these go macro bars as snacks and these overnight oats as breakfast with adding other things as i said the pesto is great to add anything i got these for brian i'm sad because they kind of like slipped and got them a little bit everywhere but they're for brian because it was his last day of drill as well as these beers he loves an IPA, so I wanted to get him some of those. Um, and then I got two of these rice cauliflower bowls. I really like these for lunch as well. Those are mainly for Brian and I's breakfast. And then I got this, um, the oat beverage. I love their oat beverage. And I got myself some flowers. So that is kind of what that looks like. But let me just show you, this is a mess in here. But we have tons of snacks. I open, I literally shopped earlier this week. So we have pretzels, we have lentil chips, we have crackers, we have popcorn, we have more bars, we have cereal, we have cookies, um, we have granola, we have liquid IVs, we have nut butters, we have tuna, we have seaweed. <laughs> like we have so many different things. We have gluten-free Oreos. Um, and if you're new to my channel, you may not know like, why do I buy so many gluten-free things? And that is because you're gonna be so sick of it if you're on my channel, but if you're not and you're new, I wanna say it. That is because my um, boyfriend is allergic to wheat. So we try to minimize it within the household. It's not anaphylactic, but at the same time, if he can avoid it, 
he does and that's fine with me it doesn't really matter to me dairy is a little bit more upsetting to my tummy so i don't eat it super often which is why you don't see as much of it here um, i've been just tummy's been really sensitive lately so I've, i haven't been having it quite as much but i still do um but that's why you don't see it as much in, especially this haul because my stomach has been bothering me as of late but i hope that it was helpful to kind of see these different things i'm gonna put together a dinner with this so i figured it would be fun to kind of just throw it together together and throw it together together and hang out for a second it's one of my favorite type of meals that i can make i think i'm gonna have some non-alcoholic rosé as well or should i do a can no let's just open the bottle you know i'm sure i'll drink it throughout the week so this is um surly rosé and it is alcohol removed but tastes just like rosé i love to get my drink on but i also have to be mindful of how i feel you know and i feel like this is such a great option when you're trying not to have as much alcohol but you really want the taste of wine because i feel like i know you can't see my face but just stick with me for a second <laughs> i feel like wine is what i like the taste of the most but often wine makes me so i'm not doing this right right now um but often wine makes me super hungover as well so yeah anyways i'm not doing this right so what, what am i doing wrong like why can i never is it this first no no <laughs> this is embarrassing why why can i not open a bottle of wine right now okay i don't know if i'll be having this but their stuff is delicious if you want to try oh i'm about to freaking break the bottle okay this is enough i need i need a quick break because i'm feeling a little agitated okay i took a deep breath and we did it it was a different wine opener i don't know if that one's working but it was not easy it was not an easy feat i didn't do a great job you know i'm not gonna lie to you so let's get this open now now i need a freaking real glass of wine i'm just kidding it's not it's not that easy to agitate me that's let's not be dramatic Mallory. Um, let's just do this. I really want to get some wine glasses with stems. They have some really cute ones on Amazon. Let's do a nice pour. My grocery haul in the back. I love it. Nice Sunday night. That would be a heavy pour if it was real. All right. Let's put this away. We'll do a little time lapse. Ready? This is my little setup for Brian with his beers. Flowers are like kind of for me, but for him, but I feel like it just looked nice there. And then a little card for when he comes back. 